you guys so i'm gonna do a voice over um i'm gonna go ahead and start on with my eyebrows i'm gonna do them off camera then i'm gonna get back to you guys so now that the eyebrows are done halfway on fleek almost there um so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and kind of set my face a little bit and kind of tone it with this mario Desco spray it's the one that's in the cucumber scent and green tea and if you guys don't like the smell of that one they do have other scents as well but I can't use that rose one because I don't know, I just didn't work for me. So then I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize my skin. I always like to use Nivea because my skin kind of gets dry and flaky, especially around the winter time. So I'll go ahead with that Nivea. Oh my God, I look so rough. Ooh, I'm going to fix the head off. So then I'm just going to go ahead and prime my skin with this Smashbox. it with this banana powder and this banana powder really doesn't have a smell some of them do but this one doesn't really have a smell to it it smells pretty plain actually <clears throat> and i like this one it's a little light but it really sets really really good i forgot the name though like i can't remember but you guys see how it looks i got it from like boxy charm or something I can't remember but I go on with my butter bronzer oh I love this stuff oh and it smells good too this actually has a good oh a really good smell so I use that to kind of blend it out that way I don't get like that real yellowy tone after I like set my face I hate when I look like look like I'm crazy or something when it's too bright so I kind of mix them to kind of get rid of that extra bright bright look go ahead and contour i'm going to use this palette by pure and i'm going to go in with this kind of like medium dark kind of chestnut color it's going to do my contour on the sides i'm going to go and use that other brush because i have two of them i'm going to use a different one because i don't want to mix it up just in case i want to come back to that like this one sometimes I will use like the stick to contour that's a little bit darker but sometimes if I don't want like a really heavy look or like if it's kind of like day for makeup I will do like a light contour with a powder but if I want like a heavy one I'll just use the stick and if I want a real heavy one 
I will use a thick and I will set it with the powder. Oh, y'all ignore my hair. Ooh. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. Um, I'm gonna start off with setting my brows with that same powder that I used before. I just like how it looks when I set underneath my eyebrows because I don't know if you guys get it, but I get like those little streaks underneath my eyebrows if I don't set it. And I'm like, oh, that drives me crazy. There's nothing worse than getting creases under your eyebrows after you get go in with this shade with this little brush I'm gonna kind of blend it in up top see how pretty it is like a bright burgundy or something really pretty really 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 nice fall colors you guys I want to These um these shades are very pigmented, like they're so pretty, but the fallout is so irritating, y'all. Like, oh my goodness. Sometimes it makes you think like, hmm, maybe I should do my eyes first and then came back to do my foundation. But it's not that bad as long as it doesn't, it's not that fallout that like smudges when it falls out. But this is the crown palette. Um, I'm gonna go in with this little pretty shade over here. Um, you couldn't see it that good on camera, but it's kind of like a peachy bronzy like color. I'm gonna go in with this little brush, little angled brush here. And I'm just gonna do my eyelids. See, it's kind of like a little pretty shimmery color. You see, you guys, I know y'all can see the fallout. Oh, and this one has fallout, so oh my god. Now I'm gonna go in this star the flow. Ooh! I'm about to blind you with that. But, oh y'all, I love this palette. And all of it is by eight cosmetics and all of the colors are really smooth and like creamy and like they just glide when y'all don't see my but it's so pretty. Yes, y'all. And Ill Cosmetics has so many good palettes and products, and their stuff is really like, I mean, A1, like excellent quality, and it's cheap. Like, you would not think, like, because I think I paid like, I paid $15 for that palette, and then the palette came with a free brush set, y'all. I mean, come on now. That was crazy. And the brushes are excellent quality, too. I'm gonna go in with these eyelashes. These are eyelashes with my brand. So if you guys do want to go ahead and purchase them, I'll leave it in the description below. Just let me know. I think those are called Sugar Plum. And then I just love this mascara. Oh my god. It's by Wonder Beauty. It's called Lashed. This is like some of the best mascara ever. I definitely need to get some more though because I'm kind of low.
right there. That is so annoying. Sometimes I have to come back and do my eyelashes. Over and over. That is so annoying. Especially when you did like mess up. Y'all give it a good little time before y'all do it. I'm gonna stick it on. Love this though. Blink! Ew! So I'm gonna go back in with that butter brush. And like I said, using that same brush I used before. Not the contour brush, because man, I did that before. My whole face was like that. Now it's time for the lips. I'm just gonna take this lip brush from NYX. Y'all don't even ask what happened to the tip of this liner. Okay. Oh, the bitch was definitely struggling with this. <laughs> it's like, I had the wrong sharpener and everything. Oh, it was so cool. No worries though. I got a good sharpener now, so y'all don't come for me with this um, little raggedy ass um, tip is. What is this liner? Goodness. <laughs> Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and um, I will.